Hey everyone, welcome to the Demo Creator channel. My name is Jens and I'm going to be your host today. Sometimes, really depending on the situation, you want to record your video and audio files separately. After you're done with that, you want to stitch up your tutorial video, for example in Wondershare's Demo Creator, meaning you have to patch up and sync up your audio and video files separately. This can cause some problems sometimes and we are going to talk about which problems can occur and how you can fix them easily using Wondershare's Demo Creator. If you are not yet familiar with Wondershare's Demo Creator and do not yet have it installed on your PC, definitely make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. With it, you can download the free trial for the software. Also, before we dive into the main video, don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel as well as to activate the notification bell to never miss out on any kind of tutorial or updates ever again. And now we are going to dive into the meat of the video, shall we? So the first situation that we can have is that you recorded more audio than video. This can happen a lot of times. I mean, this happens to me all the time too when creating the videos for this channel. So let's see how we can fix the situation up. Now, as you can see here on my timeline, I, I have about four seconds more audio than I have video files. Um, and this causes a bit of a problem because you don't want your viewer to see four seconds of black screen, meaning we are going to patch stuff up a tiny little bit. We are going to fill in the four second gap with, let's say, for example, a still image of your actual video recording. For this, you are going to split up your video file, for example, at a certain spot where you want to fill in a certain gap. Then you can drag it across and then for the one frame that you want to fill in, you are going to click on the camera symbol right here in the down right corner of your video um, preview. Once you click on it, you are going to notice that a little notification is going to pop up, which is going to tell you where your snapshot has been created and saved. If you want to take a closer look at where it is actually saved into, you can just click on the notification and open local file. And you can see it's saved right into the Wondershare Demo Creator folder, which you can find in your local document. And from this point onwards, you can click on import and drag the file into here. Once imported, you can drag the screenshot down to fill in the missing gap. And then trim it down to the length that you want to have it. So for example, the, the four seconds of the otherwise black screen. And then you have filled in the gap successfully. But make sure to not make the screenshot too long because it could feel like a still image, like the stream or your video would be lagging on YouTube, for example. So make it nice and partitioned um, over the course of your whole video such that you can fill in the gaps very logically and fitting. Another very logical approach to filling the gaps is to create, for example, a camera recording right next to your screen recording. This way you can fill the gaps by just dragging something down and having the viewer see yourself. And then you can just basically fill in the gaps regularly by splitting up the video recording file, so your camera recording file, and then you are basically done. One very big advantage about this method is that the viewer is going to see yourself, who you are. You are going to engage with your audience way more and this really makes for a very good video. I really like the switching be between camera view and also screen recording view. Makes it feel more personal to the viewer. The next approach is very similar to the whole camera approach. Namely, you are going to put in B-roll footage in the place where you would otherwise have a black screen. B-roll footage could be footage that serves as an outtake that has not too much to do with the main video in itself or you're using footage that you would have otherwise not used in your video just to fill in the gaps basically. Another very nice approach to this is to use stock footage or for example you are um, doing a tech review um, and talking about lifestyle and then you are seeing someone um, drinking a coffee at Starbucks for example or typing on a keyboard just to fill in the gaps makes it more dynamic makes it feel really alive during your video and this really helps a lot and the procedure is the same just put in the bureau footage at the gap for example me writing here on a piece of paper just to fill in the gaps and it just makes it feel very alive very engaging for your audience to look at. Now we were talking all the time about an audio file which was way longer than the regular video. Now what about the other situation? You recorded way more video than audio. What can you do in this situation? 
Now, one of the easiest methods is to cut out non-essential footage, meaning stuff that you would not need during the regular video that would bore your audience otherwise. For example, if you're playing a game, if you're doing a let's play right now, you can cut out the loading screens. No one needs those. Why would you show someone the loading screen if you could um, basically shorten the video that way? Meaning overall, this really doesn't restrict to loading screens at all. You are just going to cut out all the parts which are non-essential to the video in itself. And we all know how to cut videos with Wondershare's Demo Creator. If you don't know how to do that, maybe take a look at the video I created a while ago about how to edit videos using Wondershare Demo Creator. And your last option is one that is very nice to use in many situations, namely you can speed a video up and down according to the audio file length. For that, you are going to click onto your video file and then you are going to go into the upper right corner and there you can scroll down to the speed section. You can either speed it up to make things longer. So you can also use this method to basically fill in a gap between an, a larger audio file and a smaller video file. Or you can obviously speed up the video in itself such that it fits your needs. But be careful with speeding up videos. You don't want to speed it up too much, otherwise your audience can't follow what you are doing anymore. So please be careful when using this method and just speed videos up the most logical way possible. And this basically concludes the video. I hope this video was helpful and to your liking. If it was, definitely make sure to subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel as well as to hit the notification bell down below. That way you are going to be updated about everything regarding Demo Creator in the future. This has been Jens from the Wondershare Demo Creator team and I bid you farewell. Have a great one. Ciao!